Hello, and welcome to our presentation titled Increasing Empathy and Compassion in Healthcare Delivery. My name is Benjamin Grounds, and I will be introducing you to our topic. This is a group project which includes work by several individuals. The purpose of this presentation is to provide evidence and solutions for the issue of the lack of empathy and compassion in healthcare. We hope that this presentation brings about helpful information that can be used to increase the levels of empathy and compassion, which will increase the quality of care provided for patients. Thank you for watching and please enjoy. In this presentation, we will be focusing on the issue of the lack of empathy and compassion in the healthcare setting. Our goal is to present the issue of the decreasing levels of empathy and compassion in the healthcare setting and provide an examination of why and how this is happening. After presenting the issue of decreasing levels of empathy and compassion in the healthcare system, we hope to provide evidence for the significance and the magnitude of this issue. We will be providing evidence and examples of how this issue has impacted and changed the face of modern healthcare. We hope that this evidence will shed light on the issue and create a desire to confront the issue and increase the level of compassion and empathy provided in healthcare. After establishing the issue of lacking empathy and compassion in healthcare and how it has affected healthcare delivery, we will provide several solutions that can be used to increase the levels of empathy and compassion in healthcare. In providing a solution, we intend to make it clear that the issue of poor empathy and compassion in a healthcare setting has detrimental effects on the quality of care provided and it must be confronted if it is to be overcome. There are several ways in which to solve the empathy issue in today's healthcare system. One way in which we believe this issue can be resolved is if healthcare providers learn to reach out and identify with their patients on a deeper level, if they are to grow in empathy and compassion towards their patients. We hope that you will take the knowledge learned and use it to increase the level of empathy and compassion used in your healthcare setting. Now, I would like to introduce my fellow group member, Christina Granger. She will be discussing the significance of lacking empathy and compassion in healthcare.